That's right, Hannah. And let's, you know what, let's right now, let's just focus on how historical this moment is. We'll talk about what happened behind me in a little bit. But this is huge. This is history. This is years in the making. And I got a chance to speak to some of, I think, the biggest fans in this area just about how excited they were to see this team play. This is what excitement looks like. Everywhere downtown, you can see there's one thing on people's minds. It's going to be the first game, the NHL game in Seattle, so I'm pretty excited about it. Got Pringle, his friends, and a few hundred others celebrated this historical day with Dick's Burgers and some fun party vibes. It's a cool thing to experience. It's really cool to get involved in it. But if partying isn't your style, there are other options to get ready for puck drop. This is um, my dream come true. Tamai Satsu and her friends had a quieter dining experience just a few blocks away. And while the energy is different, there is nothing low key about Tamai's love for hockey. I'm born and raised in Japan and I play uh, national team in 10 season. That impressive accolade also includes being a member of the 1998 Olympic team. Do you know Nagano Olympics? Are you sure? She and her friends are just a few minutes from the arena, but Tamai is focused on getting to the game early. We have to watch practice. That is the best part too. Other families had a little bit longer of a hike to make it to the game. Kennewick, Washington. How long did it take you to get here, man? Uh, yeah, we, we flew. flew. Following Dylan Gill's own hockey game across the state, which they won, his family loaded up and took off for Seattle to watch the Kraken hit the ice. I've been waiting for like a month now, ever since the season started. Yeah. This is the day I've been looking forward to. When you think about it, since the announcement of hockey coming to Seattle, Dylan's actually been waiting for this day for about a third of his entire life. I'm, I'm really excited. An excitement felt by the whole family, all of these fans, and the entire city. All right, let's get to the bad news. The Kraken lost tonight. Tough, tough third period, but they're back at it again in just a couple days right here on Tuesday, taking on the Montreal Canadiens. Canna.